We cannot stop remembering the past. We cannot stop thinking about the future. We learn from the past, good and bad, and we prepare for the future before it arrives. These are all survival mechanisms the species has mastered. We can strip out the worry bits of those two activities and then life looks a lot different. Welcome back to year four of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, which we release every Monday. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, master trainer, president of Dale Cutting Edge Training Tokyo, Japan, and three-time best-selling author, Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery. We're bringing this show to you from our High Performance Center in Akasaka in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? We are looking at giving you a big edge in business in Japan. Let's all be at the forefront, at the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. This is episode number 216, Freedom is All in the Mind. So let's get going. Motivational quotes are everywhere, and they remind us of useful things we already know but have forgotten. Two recent messages struck me with their introspective power. Both are made by recognized thought leaders. One was a distinguished academic, psychologist, and philosopher. The other was a distinguished psychologist and Holocaust survivor. Their conclusions are profound and achieved through different experiences and understandings of the human dimension and the human psyche. William James, 1842 to 1910, taught at Harvard and has been called the father of American psychology. He was a leader in the idea that we could control our lives through our mind. He said, the greatest discovery of our generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. As you think, so shall you be. This was a breakthrough notion at that time. The prevailing idea had been that God's will, chance, fate, or luck determined your life. Viktor Frankl, 1905 to 1997, a Nazi concentration camp inmate, survived the Holocaust and subsequently wrote a fascinating book called Man's Search for Meaning. Through his personal experience of horrendous torment, he found everything can be taken away from a man, but the last of the human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. Given we have this mental power to control how we think, then why is it we are so poor at it? We find ourselves replaying the same old movie in our mind of a pitiful, endless loop of past humiliations, insults, degradation, or unfairness that we've suffered. If we can control our thoughts, then why can't we hit the pause button on that movie and keep it from polluting our present life? We don't muck around either, do we? Not only have we unleashed the horrid past to continue to haunt us like a zombie crypt debutante, we invite the future apocalypse into our today as well. We imagine all the things that go horribly wrong in the future. We attack our optimism muscle with thoughts of future doom and gloom, thereby disabling it. We can't seem to turn these thoughts off either. Real freedom is being able to recognize that while we can't completely turn these ugly musings off, we can neutralize them. You might ask, can we separate worry from reminiscence and from voodoo divination? How do we do that? 
Find out more when we come back from the break. If you want to be successful as a leader, do the Leadership Training for Managers course. All companies need people who can both manage and lead. Leading people screams out for real skills in communication, dealing with all different types of people, being excellent at innovation, planning, delegation, handling mistakes, doing performance reviews really well, and inspiring and motivating the team. Do the Leadership Training for Managers course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Let's use two of Dale Carnegie's stress management principles. One, let's live in daytight compartments. Think of each day like an airtight container into which nothing can enter. We need to concentrate on shutting out just the worry component, not trying to block the complete recollection or prospect. We observe our memories, relive the pain, but firmly tell ourselves that was in the past. I'm not going back to that time ever again. We can see our pain point in our mind's eye, but we don't have to attach ourselves to it or embrace it as if an Aussie saltwater crocodile has gripped us in a death roll. This is similar to meditation techniques where you observe your breath cycle, but you don't attach your mind to it. You just note it and let your mind move on. Our control and therefore real freedom is over the amount of worry we ascribe to the memory or the foreboding. Regarding the past, we can determine to cooperate with the inevitable, face the fact that yes, it happened, knowing we can't change that. Having done so, now let's switch our thoughts away from that memory to something much more pleasant or successful in the interim. Let's switch out our debilitating thought with a much more positive memory. For the future, we should prepare for it, but again, not attach the worry emotion to it. Let's view it this way. What is the worst that can happen? Having contemplated that prospect, we mentally accept this is inevitable. It will happen. Mentally, we prepare for the worst. Finally, we get our brain working on how we can improve on the worst. We switch from mental incapacitation and paralysis to producing possible solutions and alternatives. We move from negative to positive. We do this by controlling how we think about the issues. Disasters past and disasters in the future have no meaning for what we need to do today. We can't stop these thoughts coming into our mind. Our brain recalls things which went horribly wrong to help us not repeat them. We look into the future to be better prepared for the unknown by imagining it now so that we are better armed to deal with it when and if it arrives. All good practices. The big difference is we need to work on stripping out the worry components. Recall, learn, and look forward. Prepare, but don't add in the worry flavoring. Action steps. One, recall but quickly swap the message to something more positive. Two, visualize the future issue as a possibility, but plan a hundred ways to defeat it. Three, cure the worry virus because this is where our real freedom is located. Four, time is spelled L-I-F-E. So we need to decide how we're going to lead it rather than having it happen to us. I hope you enjoyed today's show and so please subscribe on YouTube. Share with your family, friends and colleagues. 
become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now www.dale-carnegie.co.jp It's packed with value so certainly check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcasts Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan series, and every second Tuesday for the Business of Tatsujin no Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show, Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews. Now you get these wherever you get your podcasts. Also, every Monday, we release the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Telebi Show. And every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show. Saturdays, every Saturday, we are releasing Japan's top business interviews. These are all on YouTube. We appreciate your support and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And so please join with us in that endeavor. In episode 217, we're talking about why I don't like videos in presentations. So Yoroshiku, Onigai Tashimasu, please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you, and we've only got one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.